90... Yeah, whatever. Um, we're, we're gonna let Zeta be a primitive. 1993 to Unity. And so, uh... <laughs> MORE COMPLEX! <laughs> so what we want is like sum of zeta, uh... Pi... If a n squared from n equals 1, that's 0 to... 1989 of a n of zeta to the n to be equal to 0. That's what this problem is saying. I want to pick the a n such that this identity is true. Now, what identities does 1990 satisfy? If 1990 was prime, we would be dead, because you can't do this with energy coefficients. But 1990 is not prime, and it is equal to 2 times 5 times 190 to... Okay, so... Wait, how do you do this? <laughs> uh... Shit, maybe this might not, will be, not be as fast as I thought it was. Uh. Well... I oh, don't know. Uh, we'll see how late I have to make myself stay up tonight. Now sums is not a bad reflex on this, I think. I'm not sure it applies here. Um, in the sense that... What is he eating? Um, dinner. Steamed buns. What time? Uh, these are like the nice steamed buns that have like red roast pork in them. They're really good. And they're really easy to make because I can't cook. One hundred ninety nine is prime, right? Uh, it's not this one, two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Yeah. Um, fine. So if I take differences <sighs> um yeah Like, right now, the thing that's nice is I have a factor of 2, so I can get two vectors to cancel each other out by, um, like, there, there's, a, there's, like, this pairing. And then there's, like, this 5, which lets me... Is this problem true if I replace 1990 with 10? Actually, that's my question. Um, because the 199 is the one that you can't really do much about. But if I do, like, 10, can I get the identity to work out? Um, if I have, it boils down to saying you have some identity on the primitive fifth roots, so for that to work, they actually actually be all equal. Okay, so it's not possible with 10, and I actually need to use the 199 somehow.
So I'm going to start by um, cutting everything in half, uh, 994. And so we'll, we'll, we'll phrase it this way. We'll work with um, 90, like, let's let omega be a uh, 1995th root of unity. I think this is right because of the, you want to, there, there's no reason to deal with the, Okay, so this is a nine, I, I have some identity that's true for 995th root of unity, and um, a 995th root of unity has a minimal polynomial of degree like 995, so this is like 4 times 198-ish, which isn't great. Um, I, I don't really like this. It holds for all n. I actually think it's false for 10. I don't think you can do it with 10. Pair 2n minus 1 squared with 2n squared. Yeah, even then, like, it's not true that, like, uh, like 3. If you do this with 10, right, then you're, you want something that's a fifth root of unity. So you, you want an identity that looks like this. But because 5 is prime, um, to get 4 and minus 1, wait, what? Yeah, yeah, like, like, I agree that seems like the nicest thing to do, but it's not, it won't work for 10, right? Because for this identity to be true for a fifth root of unity, um, you need a n squared minus b n squared to be constant, I think. Wait, that's not true. Uh, no, for, for integer coefficients, it's true. Like, if, uh, if 995 was prime, actually, I think the problem would just be false. Um, wait, 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 So, it doesn't make sense. Like, my claim is that I think the problem is false if we replace 1990 with 10. Because you pair up the roots, as I said, which is fine. But then, what you find after you do that is that you get a sum of fifth. Uh, fifth roots of unity that sums to zero, and the only way that happens is if the roots all have equal magnitudes, and then that requires things to be constant. So what happens is you need to like pair the squares from one square to ten squared such that the c common differences are equal, and I don't think that's possible. Sorry, well, Warren, am I, am I am I making sense? Like I. Like, if you have a regular pentagon with side lanes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the problem is false. Like, if I tell you a pentagon is equal angular and tell you the side lanes, that determines the pentagon, and this pentagon does not close. Like, there's no equilateral pentagon with side lanes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in any order. Yeah. Actually, in general, an equilateral prime gone, like an equilateral, say, equilateral pentagon with integer side lengths must be equilateral. This is a theorem, like, a regular p gone with integer sides is equilateral. And this is for number theoretic reasons. So my point is that you cannot do this. Like, I, I agree it looks nice, but it doesn't, it provably does not work. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Well, also, like, it's true for regular as well, but that's not what we want. Is it like some irrational thing? Oh, because what happens is what you do is you have like a0 plus a1x. Uh, Alright, now I'm just explaining this proof. Um, what happens is you get the coefficients up to p minus 1 of omega to the p minus 1 is equal to 0. And so, hence, omega is a root of some ai x to the i. And this polynomial but the minimal polynomial of omega is um, x to the i of the same degree, so it require it to be equilateral. So for 5, it's just not true. And what the problem is saying is because we have 995, which is not prime, it is nine, 4 times 198, which is 792, um, that means the problem is possible, although I don't know how to construct it yet, it's not like obviously impossible. Yeah, not obviously impossible. 
So yes, 995 being not prime is what's going to make this problem doable. And I have to figure out why. <laughs> uh... The solutions are very convoluted and tricky. That's not good news. I thought this was going to be easy. I was just like, oh, it looks like you can just complex it. Awesome. Oh, no. All right. Yeah, basically, I want to pair up the spurs into two halves and then, like, subtract them and then, like, you know. Oh, Jesus, frick. Oh, I'm not going to get any sleep. Yeah. I mean, I think it has to be pairing because you you need to use the two. Um, also, it's just easier that way. Like, it's sort of you you trade off that evenness for something that makes the problem much more constrained. Group into fives would be nice if it were possible. I am not convinced that it's possible to group them into sets of five. Like one strategy would be to um, like break this thing into yeah groups of five, such that in each group of five. And then rotating it. Uh I mean, what, what happens is you, you break it into 199 groups of 5, such that each group, like, I don't know, vanishes, maybe? I do think it has to be some sort of arithmetic progression thing, because here, here's the thing. This is a problem statement, when, when I see this problem statement is true, it's like, holy shoot, this is true, question mark. Because you expect if I pick, um, if I pick a random set of numbers with probability 0, does the polygon close? And not even it's only possible probability zero, it's like probability like zero squared in the way, right? Like you need both the x and y component to work out. So the fact that like this set of lengths actually works is like mind blowing. Like the fact that it has a natural description and it will actually close. And it has to be like very specifically chosen. Like you won't be able to do it with like. It's very unlikely cubes would work, for example. Like there's just no way. I think. I might eat those words. Maybe like polynomials are good. But um Yeah, if it, if it was determined that then you just cook <laughs> that'd be horrifying. Alright, so What what do I do? Like I do the pairing idea, I can get linear things. Do I think that like three, seven, eleven will carry? Oh wait, does this just work? Um... Three thousand nine hundred eighty-one. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So, um, we'll do the following. We'll look at three omega to the, um, zero plus one ninety-nine. Amazing. All right. Yeah, I see it. I see it. So this. Oh, right, this is not as bad as I thought it'd be. I thought it was going to be something really involved. Um. Granted, uh, Warren basically knows the solution, I think. So we're going to start with this identity. This is a true identity. Actually, it's not. I lied. This is this is a false identity. This gives you a complex number z. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to rig it with the next guys in the sequence. 23, 27, 31, 35, 39. This is like, uh, 1... 
200, 9. All right, yeah, all right. Yeah, that's going to work. And it turns out this is Omega Z, because all I did, you can sh shift out the 20s, and then it's like, you know, whatever. Okay, and then you can do the same thing again. Omega squared. Um... Wait, hang on. Does this work? I feel like I rotated it the wrong way. I really want to rotate by... Um... Sorry. If I sun these, I don't get the... Omega is the 995th root of unity. I have 199 equations. I need to hit the multiples of 5, I think. I, I need this one to say omega to the 5, not omega to the... Does this mess things up? I don't think it should. I think this is okay. This this should work now, and then I'll do this for ten, and uh, here let's do yeah, uh, fifty one, fifty five, fifty nine, and now this is like two oh nine, four oh nine, six oh seven, eight oh six. These are true statements, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so we'll, we'll call this one Z and the others are similar. And then... Why omega to the 5 in the last inequality? Um... Why here? I mean, th this is this previous equation multiplied by omega to the 5th, right? Oh shoot, 4034. Ah! Ah! Okay, yeah, and then this will just work. So the just there, the two, the pairing, and the two let you kill off the um, squares, so you get these things that are APs, and then... 43 omega to the 5 should be- Ah! No! Ah, oh, the typos don't end. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it is omega. Alright, we did it. Oh, man. I've been doing math for four hours now. Congratulate me. Uh, what a day. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's the day where, like, FTW doesn't- the, the stream starts with OBS not working, and then FTW not working, and then I spend an hour trying to prove the friendship theorem, and then I spend, like, another, like, I spent two hours trying to prove the friendship theorem and like another hour like miss complex bashing. Try like try to complex bash and failing. So <laughs> Oh man, that was not a chill stream. Oh I'm so tired. Oh, oh god. Yeah, the SMO problems went really well. <laughs> this problem went pretty well too. We got friendship. No, we didn't get friendship. We reduced it to the case where it was regular and then like died. <laughs> 